Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this one I've already got this hand done, I did these pool nails so I need something on my right hand which means using my left hand so this video is going to be a bit um, a bit difficult but I am going to be using the same tips that I used on the other hand so if you want to see how I put these on I'm just speeding through this, I'm not showing you the entire process but I have already shown that on the pool nails video so if you want to see how I apply the tips then you can just look at that one and then I do give them a file and I'll show you a bit of how I do that on the other video as well. Next I need to put some base coat on. So I have already done all my prep and everything and that is also in the other video. So yeah, it's um, difficult for me to show you everything like that when I'm using my left hand because um, I wanted to make this a bit of an easy video. I was just going to do an ombre because um, these are going to be like tropical nails but I really wanted palm trees on my nails and I thought right well I'm going to get some stickers uh, make it easy but I got some stickers and I wasn't happy with them so I decided just to paint um, with my left hand <laughs> as you do but I thought no I need to push myself um, and in the end I'm so glad that I did it because I was really happy with the way they turned out even though it took me longer than, than it did to do my other hand. So the first colour that I'm using is this pink called Love's Veil and this was from the Valentine's collection I think in February. So I'm only using one coat of this colour and this gets cured for 60 seconds. And I'm only using one coat because we are going to be ombreing over the top of this so it's just there so that if there are any gaps uh, then you don't obviously see a clear bit because of those clear tips so yeah I'm just putting one coat on I'm trying to get um, it as even as possible and then I do cure it for 60 seconds so I'm trying to get as many sort of summer nail sets done as, as I can because um, I really wanted these ones so I did go over um, and wipe all the tacky layer off so that I didn't have um, you know any stickiness on my nails and then I'm using these two colours from the latest collection. So that is July's collection. And so it's the pink and the purple. So it is Pink Frenzy and B-Day Bash. And I love these colours so I knew that I really wanted to use them. And then Aggie sent me this ages ago, this like double-ended sponge. And this is really good for ombres. It is much better, I will have to say, um, using a gel paint that's more pigmented because when you're trying to do this kind of an ombre with um, gel polish it really is difficult you have to do um, you have to get the sponge to soak it up um, quite a lot and you do go through quite a bit of gel polish and quite a few coats that you have to do as well so I have already sort of pre soaked the sponge ends in the colour um, and then I'm just going over the sort of nail bed area with the pink and then on the bottom I'm using the purple one and then when I've applied it where I want it I'm using a bit of the sponge that hasn't got any gel polish on and I'm just patting that down just to sort of feather that colour a little bit and help it ombre a bit more so this is obviously just the first coat there's going to be um, another couple of coats after this. So I'm just showing you this nail, the first coat, and then I will do the ring finger as well. And I've just left this um, first nail in real time so that you can see exactly how long it takes to do it. So because I was using my left hand, I did have to really try and make sure that my hand was actually in shock because I do have a habit of bringing my hand down. Um, and not really paying attention to what the camera's actually filming. So when I'm happy with that, you do. there is a really, really important step to this, and that's to make sure that you go around your cuticle area and the side walls with a bit of alcohol on a brush because there is gel polish on the skin, even if you can't see it. Um, because it was on that sponge, it will have gone onto your skin a little bit, so you do not want to cure that onto your skin. So I just very carefully go around and then I cure that for 60 seconds and then I'm going in 
using the same method but I've sped this up and this is on the ring finger so this is still just the first layer and again with the purple on the bottom so if you did like this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and then hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video So that's been cured for 60 seconds now and I'm just going to go in with another coat. So this is the second coat and this is sped up as well. So yeah, pink again on the top and purple on the bottom and then I'm sort of dragging it out, feathering it in the middle so that you can just see that middle colour as well. So that gets cured for 60 seconds and then you can see I've done them all there. So I'm going in with another coat now and this is the last coat that I'm doing. So I'm putting some more gel polish on and I'm just showing you tapping the sponge because um, you tap it and then you just keep tapping on your palette to actually get it to go into the sponge because if it's just sitting on the surface you're just going to get a big splodge on your nail and that's not going to give you a nice ombre. You need it to have actually gone into the sponge. So you can start to see now how the colours are deepening, but yet you've still got that ombre effect. So I'm going to do one last nail and this is the pointer finger. So I'm just showing you there that I'm doing exactly the same. And you can see as well that there is gel polish on my skin. So I do make sure that I get that off straight away as soon as I've finished um, applying this. And then I don't go into the lamp with that on my skin. I did actually want to use some um, liquid latex, but um, I opened the bottle and it had all dried up. So I couldn't use that because I wouldn't normally advise anyone to do this method and get it on the skin I would say put something there to protect it but I just didn't have anything so I just had to go with it so I'm using this rubber base coat called Amazon and this is from um, it's from a collection a while ago but it's absolutely gorgeous it's got sort of um, a sheer white base but it's got loads of holographic glitter in it which is very very fine and I love this one so I just did one coat over all the nails with that And then when that's been cured, I'm going in with the velvet matte top coat because we're going to be doing some nail art and I wasn't sure how many nails I was going to put the nail art on. So I just um, velvet matted them all. So then I'm using the black gel paint. I was going to use one of my templates to do the palm tree. Um, but then I thought, no, I'm not. I'm going to paint it directly on the nail. So I was sort of looking at that template just to see what the palm tree was going to look like. But then I did freehand it. So I've sped this up because it, with me using my left hand, it did take a while. And you can see that my hand's right at the bottom of the screen um, because I was trying to get it in the best position where I could see it. But it, yeah, it did take a while, but I just go slowly um, and, you know, I just flash cure it when I'm happy with it. And then I, d I don't have to, you know, make a mistake and wipe it all off and start again. So I just took it slow and I was really happy with the way it turned out. I love these palm trees in the end. So I'm just showing you on camera me doing one of the palm trees. But then I did do a little bird and then I did the ring finger off camera so i was really not confident with painting on my nails but i just kept making myself do it and i really i actually really enjoy it when i sit down and i start doing it i really enjoy doing it and i always think well, why did i not want to do that uh, but yeah i mean you can use stickers and stuff like that but when you've actually done it yourself 
Um, I, I just love the way this turned out. So this is how it looks when it's got both the palm trees on and the birds on. And then I'm just going in with some rhinestone glue and I'm just putting gems on this uh, pointer finger. And then I'm using some silver caviar beads in between all those when I've got them in the position that I want them in. So I did faff around with this a lot. Which is why I didn't show you me doing the other fingers and the thumb because it took me ages messing about with uh, these gems and all the little tiny caviar beads. So yeah, get those in the position where I want them, the caviar beads. I make sure that everything is, well, I try and make sure that everything's straight and then I put that in the lamp. And I make sure that I cure that for 60 seconds and then... That's all done and it just needs top coating now. Obviously they look good matte, don't they? I wasn't sure whether to leave them matte or whether to go glossy, but I thought, no, I'm going glossy because I've used that Amazon rubber base and I want to see the glitter. So I'm just being very careful brushing around those gems and caviar beads because you don't want to go over your gems with your top coat because it will dull the shine of them. So you can't tell watching it but it was really difficult for me to do all this with my left hand but I did manage to get there in the end and I managed to stay in shot which was good So that is them all done and I am so pleased with how these turned out. I really, really love the way that they look and I'm so happy with them. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like these? And I'm glad that I finally put some bling on because I've not had bling on for ages and it was really good to have some of that on my nails as well. I don't know how long these are going to stay on, but um, as long as I can leave them on, I think, because I really do like them. So yeah, as usual, links to everything that I've used will be in the description box. You can also get 35% off Madam Glam. Um, if you use my code that's there on the screen, I'll also put it on. I'll also put it in the description box. So that is it for this one. So I want to just say a big thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.